Yes, another new day, another new day is here. How's it going, everybody? If you're new, I'm Trucker Josh. Hit that subscribe button to make new videos every day. We're traveling around Canada and the US. Today, we find ourselves in Thunder Bay, well, just east of Thunder Bay, Ontario. I believe it's called something like Shania, Ontario. I still call it Thunder Bay because that's more people know where that is. I spent the night at the Flying J, and we're on our way down to the Toronto, Ontario area. So I picked up this load in Calgary, Alberta. Been driving two days with it already, in total. It's pretty heavy. We got the tri-axle behind us there. Fully loaded. Yesterday I was saying we're gonna go over uh, Highway 11 because there's less hills, but it's a little bit further. I think to save time, I'm gonna take the 17. I know the hills are pretty bad or pretty steep and uh, I got a heavy load, but I'm going to give it a shot. I think I'm going to change my mind, take 17 today, as opposed to what I told you yesterday. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you're not from this area. Highway 17 is 30 miles shorter than Highway 11. They both go around to the same place down to Southern Ontario. Uh, but Highway 11 is flat, less hills. Highway 17 is along the, along the lake. Usually there's worse weather there in wintertime. And when you're hauling a heavy load like this, be a little harder on the truck. But there's more services on 17. 11 is a little bit more remote. I don't know. I'm going to think about it yet. I'm going to get going here, do my pre trip. We'll be uh, rolling out of here in probably about half hour, 45 minutes. I'll give it some thought and see how I feel when we leave. Because uh, the fork in the road is. 20, 30 minutes up this way. So I've got to make my decision before I get there. So let's get rolling. First things first, before we go anywhere, got to make sure the truck's ready to go. Every day, pop this hood, you check your brakes, you check your tires, check the oil, check the coolant, make sure there's no leaks. I usually just start around on the passenger side here, check my belts brakes down here, suspension, look under the truck to see if there's any leaks, check my coolant level over here, come around to this side, very important, check the oil every day, full, right at the full line, nice, knock on wood, this engine's been very good for me, very good, uh, very happy with it, no leaks, Lots of power, runs very smooth. Power steering is good. So those of you who have been uh, watching me for a while, trying out this wireless mic that I've had in my truck, got sent to me as a gift a long time ago already, and I've just never gotten around to using it, and I don't know why. But now I can talk to you from over here, and I don't have to yell at you, I just talk normally. What do you guys think? Is the audio all right? We're gonna keep trying this out through this week and see how we feel at the end of the week. So far, I think I like it. And then of course, you wanna give all the tires a good thump to make sure they have premium air inside. It's now fall time, so we gotta make sure we got good fall or autumn air in our tires. That's a joke. <laughs> some of you are, some of you still fall for that. Admit it. It's an old joke already. There's always someone new to tell it to, right? And we hit it with the thumper, and you listen while you hit it. If you know what you're listening for, you can tell if one tire is even low. It should have the same ring. All right, we need to get moving. Truck is ready to go. I'm ready to go. Got my coffee. My trailer's coming with me. Loads tied down onto it. And there's the highway. It's beckoning to us. Trucker Joe! Trucker Joe! Come and play, Trucker Joe! I don't know why it sounds like that, but I don't know. Here we go. Gotta turn left.
more truck. So Sault Ste. Marie is 646 kilometers ahead. That's where I'm going to grab some fuel. I still have over half tanks. And I don't want to fuel up here if I don't have to. So since I mentioned Sault Ste. Marie, that does mean, yeah, we're going to take Highway 17 to change my mind. Better services along that road. I know it's got some hills on it, but, you know, I've got faith in Old Blue. I'm going to try to cut today in as short as possible distance wise. Looks like they're twinning the highway here as well. A little bit further, probably all the way to Nipigon, I would hope. Definitely got some weight behind me though, you can definitely feel that. The paperwork says it's just under 46,000 pounds of freight on my trailer. It feels more like 50, but I scaled myself and I'm legal. It feels pretty heavy. Just roll through Nipigon here, right around the corner. Once we cross the bridge, that's the fork in the road. That's where the decision has to be made by then. If you turn left, you go off 11, 30 miles further, 50 kilometers further, but you have flat land but fewer passing lanes. So if you get stuck behind someone going slow or fluctuating in speed between like, you know, 70 and 105 kilometers an hour, which can be very annoying if you're stuck behind them for hours and hours and hours because you can't pass. Uh, that's the risk you take going on the 11. On the 17, that's the one I've decided we're gonna take. You got bigger hills. You're traveling right along uh, the Great Lakes. I believe it's Lake Superior, right? So in wintertime, all of that weather that you get coming off the lakes hits you on Highway 17. So you get much worse storms on 17. Though they do go inland and hit 11 too, but uh, usually not as bad in my opinion. And this is the one bridge that connects the entire economy east to west of Canada. Eastern Canada is on the other side of this bridge. This is Western Canada. This one bridge alone, if it got knocked out, the economy would grind to a halt across the entire country. We would be completely disconnected from our eastern brothers and sisters. Isn't that crazy? We rely on one bridge. It's a nice bridge. I mean, look at it. Very nice. Very nice. Got blue lights. Fancy. Fancy. Those blue lights are very blinding at night, but... Uh, <laughs> You can't have everything, I guess. Here they are, the blue lights. See them? You can't really see them during the day, but at night they're like right in your face and really bright. Look nice, though. They look nice. Okay, we're officially in the east. And uh, hopefully that bridge doesn't get knocked out, otherwise we can't go home. Here to the left is Highway 11. We're going to stay to the right, take 17. I did change my mind from yesterday. So we're going to deal with the hills. But since it's a beautiful day outside, I'm not going to have to deal with much bad weather coming off the lake, I'm hoping. And we're going to save ourselves 30 miles, 50 kilometers. I called the receiver. They're expecting me there tomorrow. I was told I need a delivery appointment. They told me it's first come, first serve. That happens so often. Like, I'll pick up a load and I get all these messages. You need a delivery appointment. Make sure you call in and make a delivery appointment. Delivery appointment, delivery appointment. So I called them, I'm all like all panicked. I'm like, oh, I hope I can get an appointment. So I called to get an appointment. They're like, yeah, it's first come, first serve, anytime between like 7 a.m. and 4. Really? So I've been rushing this whole time. 
Ah, yeah, so I'm still planning on getting there on time, on schedule. Hopefully I'll have enough time to get a reload. Uh, but I'll probably get reload the next day, the following day. And hopefully we can head back home with a good paying load on our back. It's going to take me a little time to get through these hills, though, because I, I don't want to run to Old Blue as hard as she can go. So I'll take my time through the hills here. want to go around, they can go around. That's what the passing lane's for right there. I hope I don't regret this. I don't like hills. I'm from Manitoba. I'm from the prairies. I don't like hills. But the scenery is a little better. Actually, quite a bit better on 17 as well. There's the lake out there already. I don't know if you can see it with the fish eye lens. There's the water off to the right. Those hills uh, were a little bigger than I remember them. <laughs> but hey, we got it here to Wawa, Ontario. We still have 951 kilometers or probably about 600 miles to get to our destination. I'm not gonna make it the whole way. I have eight hours left on my clock. I'm here off duty on, my, on a break. I wanted to let Old Blue rest for a little bit. I wanna get out, stretch my legs. I'm at the Esso, so I'm gonna go in and see if uh, maybe there's some coffee inside or something. Just go for a little walk around the lot here, get the blood pumping in my legs. The load has been solid. Like, it's been a great load, but it's just, it's heavy. It's heavier than what I'm used to hauling. And I'm used to hauling those loads out of uh, Kenora, right? My Brainerd runs, and that's usually about 44,000 pounds. That's why when I look at the paperwork on this and it says that it's 45, 40, just under 46,000 pounds. An extra 2,000 pounds? No, I don't buy it. I don't buy it, it's heavier. But I did scale out and I am legal for the road. I just, I think they got the weight wrong in the paperwork. Not a big deal. I'm dealing with it. Got the triaxle. My tarps are back here. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah. It's been a good day of driving. Look at this. It's a beautiful sunny day. So what I'm planning to do is just, I'll probably be here for about another like 15 minutes. I'm going to go down to Sault Ste. Marie, which is the next town down the road, a couple of hours. I'm going to fuel up at the Flying J there. Probably run in, grab a shower, clean myself up. I need a haircut. Uh, I can just, 
I have a buzzer that does it for me, like an, elect an electric buzzer. Get myself cleaned up so that I look presentable when I get to the customer tomorrow. Apparently, as long as I'm there before 4 p.m., they'll unload me. I'm planning on getting there at 1 p.m. That should give us plenty of time. Oh, truck's dirty. Everything's dusty. That's okay. We got work to do. Uh, this, this is what I need to plug into the camera. Uh, this is the wireless receiver for the microphone. Like that's up there. I have another one right here. That's for when I get out of the truck. So it's a bit of a contraption that has to be plugged into the GoPro all the time. So when you're on my head, I'm hoping that I won't need that. So I don't have the microphones on right now. We're in Wawa, Ontario. I told you that already. Let's go. They had no coffee inside because there's a boil water advisory in place at this, in this town. So they can't make coffee. So we're gonna go down to Sault Ste. Marie. We'll just do everything there. Sneak through here. I'm just gonna scooch on through. Excuse me. Just gonna scooch through here. Look at that nice Yukon right there. It's a Yukon XL. That's what we want. It's exactly what we want. Black, it blacked out and everything. That's nice. Nice SUV. Alright. try to get in front of me because my lane is ending. I was just gonna say, <laughs> they must be conflicted because they want to floor it to get past me, but at the same time, they gotta go right past a police station. <laughs> they turned into town back there, so no worries. Okay, so 226 kilometers. Oh, well, let's say it's about 130 miles to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, which is the Canadian side of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. I think that's in Michigan, right? It's right on the border with the US anyway. That's where Flying J is, that's where we're gonna stop.
right, so I just pulled up. We're in the pumps here at the Flying J in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And my fuel light is on already. So, man, we've been using fuel. Oh, man, this load has just been thirsty. Thirsty. Man, I wonder if I would have saved fuel going on 11. I probably should have gone on 11. I should have known, but. Someone, one of these guys at the pumps here has his music on very, very loud or something. Oh well. Okay, I gotta get out there and fuel, and then I'm gonna go have a shower, and then we'll continue. Alright, the sun's gone down, but we've had our shower, cleaned ourselves up, eaten my supper. Now it's time to go. One second, my phone just started making noise. Shut that off. What was that all about? Okay. And it keeps making noise as soon as I start rolling. The stop was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but well, that's the way the world works. Everything takes longer than I'd like it to. So we grabbed fuel, showered, ate, grabbed a coffee. Now I've got five hours and 22 minutes available to me. That's on my 16 hour clock, so that's it. I have to be stopped in less time than that. I don't really want to drive that late anyway, but we'll see what happens. Let's get as far as I can. Well, I found myself parked at a spot that I usually wouldn't park at. I know it's all dark, so you're gonna have to trust me. I'm at a scale, oh, an inspection station. There's not actually a scale here, it's a, a lot. It's a big open lot over here where they do commercial vehicle inspections. And this is the only parking that I can find on my route for tonight. So I'm parked. <laughs> Right at the exit. That's the exit right there. So first thing in the morning, as soon as my logbook tells me, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm gone. I don't know why these lights aren't working here. There's no street lights here. There's supposed to be. And there's one right there. There's another one right there. I know you can't see it. It's too dark. This whole place is just pitch black. And I don't know why. Well, the lights aren't turned on. That's sketchy. Now, I usually don't like parking at these places overnight if I don't have to, but tonight's one of those nights when I have to. Out of hours. So we'll wake up in the morning, make our way down to a town called Drayton, Ontario. It's sort of uh, northwest of Toronto. I won't have to go right through the city. Uh, I'll uh, s skip the city, go through the countryside to get there, and we'll deliver this load tomorrow as soon as we can and from there hopefully they'll have a load scheduled to uh, go back home let's we'll see what happens so that was a long day a scenic day but uh, a long day nonetheless so thanks for hanging out with me I'll see you all right here tomorrow right you'll be here I hope so I'll be here subscribe so you don't miss it on my YouTube channel it's free leave me a comment down below it's free you want to go the extra mile you like my videos you can click the join now button get early access to the videos. That's not for you. A comment down below and a thumbs up is all I ask. I'll see you tomorrow.